Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a consistent character with an AI image generator without wasting money on mid-journey or other complex methods. We know how crucial it is to have a consistent character to tell a cohesive story throughout your video. I'm here to teach you an easy yet highly effective way to achieve this. I've tried many methods that either cost money, require advanced skills, or need a powerful computer. But with the approach I'll share today, you won't need any technical knowledge or expensive equipment. This method will save you time and money while helping you achieve impressive results. There are other options out there like Hugging Face or Replicate, but they'll end up costing you more than the method I'm about to show you. Okay, so let's dive in. Search for tensor.art on your browser and click to open it. Once you're on the homepage, search for Flux Pulid and select Flux Pulid KLIG. Click here to change the model. Select Flux Pro Editors Edition. Here you can select the resolution you want. You can select the number of images you want to generate with your prompt and choose the best one. You can create up to eight, but I find three works best. If you generate more than four images at once, it may give you weird results that aren't what you want, and you'll also spend more credits. You need to upload your reference image three times. Here is the seed number, but here you don't need to do anything. You get 50 credits daily for free. I believe it used to be 100 credits per day, but even with 50 credits, you can create a lot. If you need more credits, you can purchase them, and they're very affordable, almost free. You only need to buy credits if you need a lot. Enter your prompt here. Let's try with a beautiful woman wearing a white t-shirt and jeans, standing in a nice pose. It will take some time to generate, so I'll speed it up now. You can select the best one from the result. We'll see the results with another prompt. Create a cinematic scene of a woman running from a dinosaur attack. Here is the result, but it doesn't look like she's really running from the attack. It looks more like she's having fun and laughing, probably because the reference image has a happy, smiling face. I'm using a happy reference image here, but ideally, for a frightening or intense scene, I'd choose a reference with a fearful expression. But let's see if we can achieve the desired result with any face expression. I tried to change her facial expression to a frightened, fearful look, but it still has the same expression as the reference image. This is the prompt I used. Create a cinematic scene of a woman running in terror from a massive dinosaur attack. Her face should show intense fear with wide, panicked eyes, mouth open as if screaming and brows furrowed. She's glancing over her shoulder, looking terrified. The dinosaur is roaring as it chases her, with debris flying and shadows creating a dark, suspenseful atmosphere in a dense jungle. The lighting is dramatic, emphasizing the urgency and fear in her expression. No matter how much I try to change her expression, I still can't get it to change. So let's try using a neutral expression, neither sad nor happy so we can adjust the face according to the situation, rather than forcing the AI to create something it's struggling to generate. Here, I will use this prompt. The woman is running from a dinosaur attack with a fearful expression. It's not perfect, but much better. I'm still using a neutral face, and I'm trying to see if we can manipulate the AI to create the desired result with this expression. It's still not perfect, but it looks okay. I don't want to add too many commands as it starts to change the face and make it look different. To improve it, if we have reference images with three expressions, sad, happy, and shocked, we can manipulate them to get the desired result. I will try another prompt. The woman is riding a bike in sportswear. The woman is riding a horse like in a movie scene. The images are not always perfect and sometimes result in weird outfits or other issues. But you can change the prompt and create multiple versions until you get what you want. For this tutorial though, 
I won't be creating multiple versions for the same image. Let's try creating an image for UGC. Assume you are making a video with a video generator. Here's the prompt I'll use. The woman is demonstrating how to use a product for UGC. You can modify the prompt and create multiple versions, then select the one that best suits your needs. In this tutorial, I won't repeat the same prompt. What if we could depict the same person at different stages of life? Child, young adult, and elderly. We get these images with this prompt. Create an image of a five years old kid. Another prompt. Create an image of a 25 years old woman. Finally, let's try with a prompt. Create an image of an old woman of 60 years old. All of these are made with the same reference image, so they have a similar look of the person from when she was young to old. Here's one thing I want to tell you. These images are supposed to look the same age. I used the prompt to create an image of a 60-year-old, but why do they look like one is 50 and the other is 60? Okay. As if there's a 10-year difference. This is just a slight difference in the prompt. The prompt on the left asks the AI to create an image of a 60-year-old using the same person as the reference. The AI determines, okay, this is a 60-year-old woman, so the image should look old. But since the reference person is very young and looks like a 20-year-old, the AI tends to create an image that resembles the reference more. The result is influenced by how the reference person looks. But the prompt on the right asks to create an image of an old woman and specify her age. So the AI tries to take the person's face and make it look like a 60-year-old. The word old adds more emphasis to the 60 years old, providing further context for what we want. But this is just an example I'm giving you. You need to add more information and words that align with what you want to create. I hope you understand what that means. If it's unclear, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to help. This is the easiest way to create a consistent character, and the link to tensor.art is in the description. You'll get daily free credits, and it's the best platform. This is the first tutorial video on this channel. I'll be making more tutorials about AI tools and other software, so please subscribe if you're new here. You won't lose anything, but you'll learn a lot in the coming days. In the next video, I'll show you how to create a consistent character with a video generator, so you can make videos for various purposes, such as entertainment, advertising, and more. You can earn a lot of money once you know how to do this and I'll teach you the techniques, so don't miss that video. If you learned something, please like the video. If you want to learn more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and that's all for now.